Hi everyone, today I'm going to go over how to enter products on the Enterprise website. In Optum Control, the recipes are broken in two different types. The first are your prep or your batch recipes, and the second are going to be your product recipes. Your prep or batch recipes are going to be your prepared recipes such as sauces, dressings, burger patties if you make in-house patties, whereas the products are going to be your plated recipes, so that would be everything you have on your menu. The products are what's going to be the link between Optum Control and your POS system. The first step is to navigate to the products. So if we go into the recipe section, we can click products to go into there. From here, to create a new product, you click new product at the top. In this example, I'm just going to go over an already created product. So I'm going to search up chili and go into bowl chili. And then I'm going to click edit just so that the view is the exact same as it would be as if you're creating a new product. In the products window, it's broken into two different sections, just like the preps. On the left hand side, we have the core information. On the right hand side, we have ingredients as well as a couple tabs at the top here. We're first going to go over the core information. The first field to go over is the description. So that's going to be what you want to name the product. Now this doesn't need to match your POS system exactly, it just needs to be whatever you want to call the product within Optum Control. The next field is going to be your sales group. So what sales group do you want it associated with? In this case, we have it in the sides and add-on section for bowl and chili. After that, we have the barcode field. You generally won't be using the barcode as plated recipes won't have barcodes. Uh, the barcode is mainly available for customers who use Optum Control for retail. After the barcode, we have the actual product cost. So this is going to be a calculation of all of the cost uh, based off your ingredients. Next, we have the pricing information and the link to your POS system. The first two options are going to be the POS ID and POS description. That's going to be what has the link between Optum Control and your POS system. So the POS ID is going to be the ID of the product in, the, in your system, whereas the description is going to be the name of the product. And this has to match exactly what your POS system says. After the POS links, we have the selling price. Based on the actual cost and the selling price, it'll calculate the gross margin, cost percent, and gross percent. The selling price, cost percent, and gross percent will each recalculate each other when you put in new information into the field. For example, if we change this to 650, it'll update the cost percent and the gross percentage. Same goes for these two fields here. Now that we have all the core information completed, we can move to the right hand side to indicate the ingredients. In here, it's going to list each of the ingredients that's already been entered, as well as the quantity, unit of measure of that ingredient, as well as the cost. To add a new ingredient, we can either add a pre item, prep, or product. In this case, I'm going to add an item. We can search it up. Once we do that, we can just select it. It'll add it to the list, and then we can enter in the quantity of what we're putting in. After we do that, it'll calculate the cost, and then update the total cost, as well as your gross margin and everything. If we want to remove an ingredient from the list, we can just hit the X on the right side here. After you have your ingredients and your core information filled out, that's all of the required information to create the product. From there, you can just save it. We also have an additional tab for instructions here. In here, you can enter in instructions on how to either plate the product or how to make the product. We also have the ability to add an image to the recipe card if you want to show exactly how it's supposed to be plated. We can click Choose File. You can navigate to wherever your pictures are and then choose your bowl of chili. After you do that, you can save your product and you're now done. That is how you create a product in Optum Control. Thanks for watching.